you know, the, the architect and builder of the Great Pyramid. He was a vizier and he's uh, a nephew to Khufu and uh, a son of Sneferu, the father of Khufu. And, uh, you know, he's known to, again, have been the architect of the Great Pyramid. Well, what these academic papers say is that the, the clues given in the architectural, especially the measurements, the architectural measurements of this structure, reveal things in the Great Pyramid. That the architect of the Great Pyramid, him, you know, was, you know, kind of, I know all about the Great Pyramid because I, I built it, I helped design it. And I'm going to put, I'm going to prove that by putting these things into my architectural plans that show I know stuff about that. So you have a representation uh, of the Great Pyramid from the top here. This is a plan view. And you can see its sides are 440 royal cubits divided into five squares of 88 royal cubits. Okay, so the tomb of Hemunu, which is located in the western field of tombs, so on the west side of the Great Pyramid, his tomb is uh, 40 by 88, the original design. Okay, well 40 is 280 palms. Uh, that's an actual Egyptian measurement. It doesn't mean like the palm of your hand. It was a, just like an inch or a foot or a meter. It was a real measurement. And so, uh, again, th that, that it sort of uh, channels the Great Pyramid's height because the Great Pyramid's height is 280 royal cubits. So in the width of his tomb, he's channeling the height. And then uh, if you take uh, the, the length, uh, it's 5 times 80. If you take 5 times 88, because the length of his mastaba is, is 88, it equals 440. So he seems to be channeling the base, you know, the, of, of the Great Pyramid. So basically, Hemiunu encodes the base and height of the Great Pyramid in his tomb design. So, you know, that's where practicality and theory meet. You want to have this theory built on numbers, but you have to have accurate measurements. So you got to be good at the hard science of, you know, measuring things, getting accurate measurements before you can more get, go to the more esoteric thing about what does that mean? So, this is probably, again, I'm just going to assume here, but the things that are revealed about the Great Pyramid are built in the delta, the change from the original plan of his tomb to what he expanded it to. Okay, so the Great Pyramid has eight faces, not four. And this has become known in recent times. What's the distance of the concavity on each side? Okay, well, this has only been calculated accurately really very recently in the 21st century. Alan Green, Manu Sevzada have uh, been some of those who have tried to calculate this very accurately. And it is very close to 1.76 royal cubits, that indent on all four sides. Okay, so let's look at this. Uh, well just uh, there's the 1.76 royal cubits that there's an exaggeration of the indent so here's the picture of Hemiunu's tomb it's 40 by 88 royal cubits okay so we know that the indent on the great pyramid is 1.76 royal cubits and it's pretty much that very close to that on all four sides okay so the tomb of Hemiunu was uh, renovated at one point and the difference between the renovation and the original is very close to 1.76 royal cubits. So it's obvious that Hemiunu, you know, many thousands of years ago, long before these modern calculations of this little known indent, was saying, I, I'm the guy that did this. I know something about the Great Pyramid. The Great Pyramid was built, according to Petri, indicate in a totally separate way than the muons from scanned pyramids, in an architectural hint way, Okay, here's, here's a top view of the Great Pyramid, a plan view, and you can see that it's made up of squares, actually 25 squares of 88 royal cubits. So Hemiunu used that to make the base of the Great Pyramid. So it's interesting that Flinders Petrie, the father of Egyptology, noticed that the square area of many of the courses in the Great Pyramid above this base uh, have an, had an integral fraction of 25ths of the area. And uh, what's even more interesting is that most of these even 25th course fractions, 1 25th of the area of the base, were one course before a thick course because the Great Pyramid is layered with uh, many small courses, then a big course, then many small courses, then a big course. And so these even 25th 
uh, fractional uh, areas of the base seem to indicate these large courses. Okay, so here, here's an example. So, uh, well, this one is this one was was would be where eight twenty fifths is, and it indicates the top of the relieving chambers. You can see that. So that's indicating a chamber. And then this would be the, the top of the king's chamber. But let's look at this one right here. So the 34th course is 16 25ths of the area of the base. And so it seems to be indicating the queen's chamber because these seem to indicate ceilings. Okay, so here's the payoff. Here's the upper half of the pyramid. What I just showed was the lower half. Since the courses that had even 25th areas in the bottom half of the pyramid indicated chambers, it seems likely that the 25th fractional you know, square area courses in the upper part of the pyramid would indicate chambers also. So we would expect that there's going to be some undiscovered chambers here. Uh, for instance, the 115th course, we can, which you can see there, which is 4 25ths the area of the base, uh, that probably indicates there's a chamber there because it has down below. Hemiunu, whoa, he knew what he was doing and he knows where the hidden chambers are. That there are other passages. So we have two completely different kinds of clues. Modern muon technology, which is basically radiation, you know, uh, config, uh, collecting. Very new, very modern, cutting edge. And then from Hemiunu's design of, of uh, 25ths, 25ths, that's what reveals these different layers. The same way a third now, the Vitruvian man, which is a symbol of man in relationship to the earth, and Da Vinci puts these horizontal lines in there that match the chambers. They also indicate that there's some hidden chambers. So, an architect, Hemiunu, encoding a chamber that's in there, muon scans, encoding a chamber, Da Vinci, encoding a chamber, people, there are still some chambers above the king's chamber to be discovered.